This video will cover our HTML5 raster viewer. I'll first discuss when to use HTML5, discuss the features of the control, then provide a walkthrough of our HTML5 raster viewer demo. One of the best advantages of using any of our HTML5 viewers is their portability. The viewers can be used with any browser that supports HTML5. And almost all browsers today support HTML5. This means our viewer can be displayed on mobile phones, tablets, and desktops. On top of portability, because the viewers are written completely in JavaScript and HTML5, there is nothing that needs to be downloaded to the client side. This eliminates the need for thick client viewers built using technologies such as ActiveX controls and .NET user controls. It also eliminates all the security and maintenance concerns, along with costs that are associated with these technologies. When an update is required to the application, you would simply update the server hosting the application and all your clients would immediately be using the updated version. Some features of our raster image viewer include extendable JavaScript library, no device imposed image size restrictions, interactive features like pan, zoom, magnifying glass, and rotate. It also supports multi-touch and multiple display modes. Each of the interactive modes we provide are derived from a base class called the Interactive Service class. This class handles each browser's mouse down, tap down, and other such events. It encapsulates the events into one event for each type of interactivity. You have the option to derive from the same class and create your own interactive modes as well. Our HTML5 viewers communicate with our RESTful's web services through JavaScript Object Notation, or JSON. The included services provide support for raster manipulations such as file conversion, OCR, ICR, OMR, and barcode recognition, as well as generic data service for sending and retrieving binary data. As I just mentioned, the raster service provides file conversion allowing the client to display any of the 150 file formats the tool supports. You pass the service a URL to the file you need converted, specifying the MIME type for the target format. We will then return the file converted to the MIME type. This works for any file format we support, including PDF, DOC, and TIFF, whether single-paged or multi-paged. You can even specify the width and height of each page return in order to display a thumbnail size version of the page. Because the RESTful services are simply a wrapper around our existing functionality, we provide the source code to the services, allowing you to add additional features to the service. Now that I've gone over some of the benefits of using an HTML5 viewer and the features in our viewer, let's take a look at our new raster viewer demo now. We currently have our viewer on our website for you to take a look at. Open your browser and browse to www.leadtools.com. Hover over Demo, then click HTML5 Image Viewer Demo. Click the Run Demo button. You should now see our demo running. As you can see, the image displayed is fit to the viewer. You can see a list of image formats we support by clicking the Image button and then clicking the drop-down. Select each image type to see the image load in the viewer. The document type is CCITT Group 4 TIFF and the medical image is from the DICOM format. Let's display the document one for now. The interactive modes we offer adjust how they are initiated based on the device they are running on. On my desktop, as you can see, I can use the mouse to both pan and zoom the image. On a mobile device, I can pinch to zoom in and open my fingers to zoom out. I can also pan the image simply by moving my finger. On my desktop, I can left click over the image to display the magnifying glass. On a mobile device, I can select the magnifying glass. I simply press my finger to display the magnifying glass. To zoom to rec, left click and drag the mouse. To zoom to rectangle on the mobile device, select zoom to, 
Then press your finger and drag. The Views dialog shows you the many different options you have to display an image in the control. The Size mode lets you display the image in its actual size, meaning without any scaling. Fit Page lets you fit both width and height to the control, while Fit Width only fits the width of the image to the control. You can then choose from one of our preset zoom values from 10% to 6400%. You can manually zoom in and out using the buttons, the horizontal and vertical alignments allow you to specify what offset to give the image when it is displayed smaller than the control. The pan setting allows you to adjust whether scroll bars are displayed, limiting the scrolling to the bounds of the image's dimensions. Switching to Unlimited allows you to pan beyond the dimensions of the image. The effects we offer are basic image processing functionality. You can flip the image, reverse the image, or rotate the image within the viewer. Our installation includes sample applications with source code to each you can compile and step through. Our help file contains sample code and overviews explaining how all class objects work together. We also provide free technical support via email, user forums, and chat for our evaluating and licensed customers. For more information about Lead Tools and Lead Technologies, visit our website at www.leadtools.com. Thank you for watching.